friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. So friends, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Janice and I do a lot of lifestyle and travel vlogs. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I pack. Um, I do have a few little tips that I'd like to share with you guys as I think they are coming really helpful whenever I travel. Um, like I said before, I did study abroad, so I have traveled a lot, and between going through all the airports and visiting like 11 different countries or 10 different countries, whatever we did, some ridiculous number, um, and random other trips that I've had, I've had a lot of travel experience, and this is what I found really helpful. So starting off, I always overpack no matter where I'm going, I always overpack. Uh, so what I like to do is just spread everything all over the floor, everything that I want to take on the trip. Um, that way I can see everything that I have and everything that I don't need. And so at that point, then I can pick up my favorites. Next, pick up the ones that I really don't want to take, the ones that I know I can live without, unfortunately, <laughs> and I don't have room for. And then from there, just kind of depending on how many days you're staying and other outfits that you may need. So I do do this for all of my clothes, um, so it does take a little bit to pack for me. But I think it's worth it because then I'll actually end up using my clothes in the end. I won't just leave them hanging and then just wear one outfit the entire time. So one other thing that I love using is this packet list. Um, I got this from either Staples or from the container store. And it has all of the basics. It has miscellaneous, so like all travel documents, laundry contacts and things like that. It has different clothes and it has any kind of clothes you could ever wish for. Um, and then hygiene, so all of the like mouthwash, toothbrush, flat iron, tweezers, all kinds of stuff like that. Other things that you could forget about. And this always reminds me that I'm always missing something. Um, so I always check it off right before I put it in my bag. Um, in addition, if I am ever think I'm losing something or I'm missing, I'm missing something, I can always go back to this and see the quantity of shirts that I bought, brought, for instance. Like I did bring four shirts or something. And I can see that I do have four shirts in my bag, so it works out really well in that way as well. So I do roll my clothes. I find it to take up a lot less space. Um, I don't actually use packing cubes. I feel like that's kind of restrictive to uh, how it fits in your luggage because some packing cubes fit perfectly in your luggage, some don't. Uh, so I just find that rolling them works really well because if you fold them and then you take, you want just one shirt at the very bottom and you take it out, it ruins the entire set of folds. So I found that if you do roll them, they usually kind of go in together like link, uh, like logs. <laughs> they just kind of stack up on top of each other. And it's a lot better for me personally. Whenever I try to grab something from the bottom, I can just pull a bunch of stuff out, slide it out, and then put them all back in. And they're all still rolled up perfectly in the same spot. So that's all my clothes. Uh, for shoes, I only like to take a few pairs of shoes. So I'll probably take a pair of sneakers, a pair of dressier shoes, uh, a pair of flip-flops, and then maybe flats of some sort, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, <laughs> Also depending on if it fits my luggage. So next what I have is these two clear containers that I usually put the fluids and things in. So like my uh, cosmetics will go in one and my toiletries will go in the other. Um, so what I usually do is I usually get one of these travel companion one, uh, sets. So it has a little thing for your toothbrush, it has some for conditioners and things like that. Um, some spray and in the back you can see that it has these little um, stickers that you can put on it. I also got some of the smaller travel sized things to take with me just so then that way I don't have to take the full um, set and it's easier to travel with and if you're flying then obviously you can't bring more than uh, I think it's three ounces of liquid in one container so uh, obviously all these travel sized ones are necessary. Um, I also always bring a laundry bag so this one I actually got from along with these both of these I actually got from the container store. Um, but this laundry bag just has a little clip on it right here. So if it doesn't fit in my luggage, my odds are, uh, I can just put it on the side. And it comes in super nicely in this tiny little container. So it is pretty big and like I said, it um, folds up really nicely. Uh, it obviously has dirty laundry on it so you can keep all of your dirty clothes away from your clean clothes. So next in my tips and tricks that I've actually gotten from other people, uh, I've heard that sunscreen is absolutely ridiculously overpriced on cruise ships. So I do have my banana boat sunscreen. I have uh, SPF 30, 
So I'm taking the SPF 30 and my boyfriend's I believe is going to take the SPF 50 depending on how hot it is. And because it's inevitable that I will burn, I did get a giant thing of aloe. This is actually the smallest bottle that they had. So hopefully we won't have to use this entire bottle, but we do have it just in case. Um, that being said, I am not flying. Uh, I am driving down so I can take these with me. But if I was if, if I was flying, I'd probably just end up going to um, a close like CVS next to the cruise terminal or something. Or um, if I'm staying somewhere the night before, I can go to CVS or Walgreens or something and grab these beforehand because odds are just like a little tiny thing of um, sunscreen that's like this big, I think I would fly through because I, I'm going to try not to get sunburned, but I'm going to try to get colors. So. Hopefully there's going to be an even medium in there, but... So, thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, some of my tips and tricks for traveling and how to pack. Like I said, these work really, really well for me, especially the uh, rolling your clothes rather than folding. I highly suggest you trying that one. I'm not sure if I'll be posting next week um, because I will be on the cruise all next week and I did film this one beforehand uh, to upload for you guys. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. hope you got a few tips out of this pack and I will see you guys soon. Bye!